Hotel Del Monte provided a remarkable array of recreational amenities and fine cuisine for its guests. Publicist Herb Sirwin called Del Monte a miniature kingdom, and no other resort in the world could match its scale of operation. As the Great Depression faded, guests once again flocked to Del Monte. Del Monte's future seemed so bright that no one could have foreseen its transformation into the Naval Postgraduate School, until the nation tumbled headlong into war in 1941. As millions of young men and women were mobilized for military service, the Navy searched for emergency facilities for training commands. Sam Morris offered them the Del Monte. The Navy established its first wartime command at Del Monte in 1943, naming it the Del Monte Pre-Flight School. Extra beds were moved into the hotel's guest rooms, and 19- and 20-year-old aviation cadets began to march, drill, and train on the resort's storied grounds, preparing for fierce battles that were still to come in the Pacific. Over the course of 11 months, 5,000 young men studied, practiced, and prepared at Del Monte. The Navy closed the pre-flight school in 1944, but continued its emergency use of the resort by establishing the Navy Technical School, Del Monte, for radio men and electronics technicians. And then came an unexpected twist of fate. Through the wartime vision of two American naval heroes, Fleet Admirals Ernest J. King and Chester Nimitz, the Navy offered to buy Del Monte and move the Naval Postgraduate School from its cramped facilities on the outskirts of the Naval Academy at Annapolis. As Congress deliberated the purchase, Morse agreed to sell. Eventually, the Navy acquired the hotel and over 600 acres of land. Morse shifted the focus of his new resort to Pebble Beach and his corporation, Del Monte Properties Company, later changed its name to the Pebble Beach Company. Today, Del Monte's remarkable legacy as one of the world's greatest resorts lives on as the Naval Postgraduate School and at Pebble Beach, thanks to Naval visionaries and Samuel Finley Brown Morse and those who have followed in their footsteps.